Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach, like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now. What's up y'all? It's your girl Selena Corinne here and we are back with another sit down vlog. If you are new, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, how are you doing today? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, press the subscribe button and give that bell a ring a ding ding and if you are not new, hey Lena babies, I missed you. So today I wanted to give some encouragement. If you are like me, you have probably asked this question to yourself, to others, to God, and just want to really know what your purpose is in life. And that is, how can God love someone like me? Through all my mistakes, through all my flaws, through all my shortcomings, why is it that God still loves me? So I do have a few tips if you have a pen and a piece of paper to write it down or just put in your phone some notes to just reflect back on whenever this question comes back up because of course the enemy wants you to believe that you are not worthy for God's love. God will not love you after that disgusting thing you did, after that thing that you know you shouldn't have done, after you say you wouldn't do this again and then you did it again. God's mercy and grace is new every day. It refreshes every morning and God still loves you. God is your Abba. He is your father and you are his child. I want to give you some encouragement tips to just reflect back on and let's start with number one. So number one is you are fearfully and wonderfully made. If you know what Bible scripture that is from, put it down in the comment sections and let's test the knowledge. This is a Bible quote. This is a Bible verse. You can find it in your Bible. You are fearfully and wonderfully made sister and brother. God has made you in his own image. He has made you how he perceives you in his own eyes. He does not make any mistakes. So the way that he made you, he knew that you would think of these things. He knew that you would go down this path even with the free will that we have. He, that's why we have free will. He gives us ultimatums. So you have this or you get this. Which choice do you want? Even if you choose the wrong path, God is still there with open arms ready to take you back to put you on the path that he has for you. You are not your mistake so just because you made a mistake and it was kind of rough in your eyes just know that the Lord still loves you and how God can love someone like you is because you are his child. Number two, the thing to remember is Jesus paid the price in full for your sins. You are made new through the blood of Jesus Christ. God made sure that we are reconciled through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ so that we can be with him again. Jesus made the atonement for our sin, which means he ended our sins. We were sent, we were just, we were about to be doomed. But God sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall have an everlasting life. Like God loves us so much that he sent not one of his sons, not a few of his sons. He sent his only begotten son to sacrifice for us so that we can be reconciled to God. So when you ask yourself, how can God love someone like me? Like I've made so many mistakes. Like I've made so many mistakes. I've did so many things that I know I shouldn't have done. Even when I said I was not going to do that again, I still did it. God still loves you. God is still here for you. And God just wants you to present and confess your sins to him so that he can forgive you. He is a forgiving father. Just like your earthly father, if you ask for forgiveness and he will forgive you, what do you think your heavenly father would do if you come with a sincere and repentant heart asking for forgiveness as well? Number three, when you ask yourself, how can God love someone like me? Remember that he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He knew you before time even began for your life to start. He knew you, he loved you, and he knew there was a purpose for you. All the things that you are going through, the trials and the tribulations, even your shortcomings, is going to be used for his glory. And I say that as in you will have a testimony coming out when you are delivered from those sins. You will have a testimony coming out when you break free from those strongholds. It's not for you to think that God wants to condemn you and send you to hell. Hell is not made for men. We are not designed for hell, which is why he wants us to come to him, why he wants us to accept salvation so that we can be in the kingdom of God when he comes back for us. So make sure that when you are asking God for forgiveness, you are coming with a repentant heart and reminding yourself that you are not your sins. Does this mean go ahead and keep sinning because you know that God loves you? No, the purpose is for you to be made new, for you to renew your thoughts, renew your mind and become Christ-like. But it 
this, meaning that the past is in the past. Do not reflect on the past. Just remember what to do in the future and in present moments so that you do not slip back in your old ways. The last tip that I wanted to leave you here for when you ask yourself, how can God love someone like you, is to remember you are not your mistakes. You are not the mistakes that you have made in your life. And I do have a Bible scripture that I am going to be reading that relates back to all of these points. But I want you to remember that because you made a mistake, that does not mean that is who you are. It's simply a mistake. We are humans. We fall short every single day. Whether that's when you wake up and before praying, you are on your phone. Or that you're gossiping or that you're lying, even if it's about the smallest thing. If you're just doing things that you know you are not supposed to be doing, you're one step away from indecision. We are one step away from being in sin if we do not try to change our mind and renew it and to be obedient to what God is calling us to do and to be. So today's scripture, like I was saying, relates back to these points and it is in Proverbs 21 verse 2 and it says, A person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. This is simply saying if you were to make a mistake in front of somebody else, they would judge you for that. They will point at you and say, that is who you are. But God looks at the heart. He does not look at the outward appearance. He does not look at the hair. He does not look at the nails and all this. If you're dressed nice or if you're dressed bummy, as we call it, he looks at your heart. Are you doing things because you're trying to remain humble or are you doing things because you're remaining prideful? Are you trying to look better than the others that are around you? Or are you saying, I'm no better than the next person who has committed a sin? God wants you to know that he loves you. He has a purpose for you. You are going to be okay. You're going to get through this just lean on God get in your word continue praying continue seeking his face and remember that there is a rainbow on the other side of the storm just keep pushing do not give up I love you so so much and God loves you more I hope this video encouraged you make sure you give this video a thumbs up press the subscribe button and give that bell a ring a ding ding and I will see y'all in the next vloggy vlog bye tell about the healer greater is the one within Call him as the leader, teach her how to